So, all right, I want to talk to you guys about this vow because th this is the part of it that maybe got me the most in terms of the, our conversation with fathers about the nature of fatherhood. So, you know, Elon, it, it's interesting, you know, Peterson keeps interrupting him in the interview and then I'll, you know, you can tell Elon's like, no, I want to say this last thing. <laughs> He's like, so I vowed to destroy this, this mind virus, the woke mind virus. And so, and he, you know, Elon has, I, mean, I don't know if this was part of why he bought X. It does seem like it, it's sort of a similar amount of time between when this was happening to his son and, and when he bought X, I think it was shortly after, if I remember the timeline right. And then you just see all the other things that Elon has, has, has been doing. And I think even his decision to uh, get politically involved recently, I think has a lot to do with this. So w one of the things I believe about family is that Part of the way that you discover your family's unique mission is by looking at your circumstances, the past, things that have really unusually impacted your family. And so when, when people have, when the enemy has done a, a, a work that has really damaged your family in some way, I do think that you need to take a big step back as a father and say, okay, I want to, I want to rally the resources of this family to, to counterattack the enemy in the area in which he's trying to destroy our family. And so I, I think this is really dangerous when, when fathers in particular retreat from being attacked by the enemy in some unique way. And so I think that can include things like sicknesses, like, Hey, we're going to raise a lot of money to overcome this illness that it can mean, you know, th anything that's happening where, <clears throat> where a particular sin has invaded. I mean, even in your own life, I have friends who have you know, committed sins like adultery. I'm like, okay, well, I hope for the rest of your life, you understand in a unique way how that affects families. And I, I would make as part of your family mission, or at least consider the fact that, that attacking that sin and, and rescuing future families from undergoing what you're, what you went through, that, that is, that, that is possibly a, a, an important part of your family mission. And so his, his, the, his way of articulating this is, is making a vow to destroy this and I think one of the things that I think Elon does that, that is so remarkable is he is, he is the most mission driven man I've ever heard of in my entire life. Like I, I've, I'm rereading his biography, biography now, and I'm not saying that, you know, that's all good even <laughs> like it, it's, it's been kind of ridiculous at some level, the, the level of dedication he'll give to the things. But when he decides that we're going to be a multi-planetary species and then creates a rocket company that, you know, can uniquely do that. That's like totally next level, you know, especially in the face of the fact that technology at the time was actually retreating. We were losing our ability to go to space. I mean, it, the, the amount that he had to overcome as a private uh, business owner to, to really change the whole trajectory of technology so that we could actually possibly achieve something like that. Absolutely remarkable. But I think, I think, that, I think that, that one of the things that I learned most from Elon is the ability to articulate a mission and then to, in, it, to garner all of his, his resources around that mission and to stay persistently dedicated to that mission, no matter what. And I, I feel like a lot of fathers need to be doing this with their families, not, not in the way that Elon does it as an individual, like rally your family and not just one generation, but multiple generations and say, Hey guys, one of the things that I really sense that God is calling our family to do is in this area, we've taken this big hit. Let's counterattack. We're not going to uh, be silent about this. We've, we're already suffering from it. And, and especially when you've suffered from it in this way in which you've been like tricked because there wasn't enough, there wasn't enough people speaking out and giving awareness, proper awareness of, of what was happening. That, that to me is a huge signal that it's important to say, okay, we're going to step into this. We're going to draw a line in the sand and we're going to put our resources, our reputations on the line to counterattack, And I don't know how else to be salt and light if you're not willing to do that. And, and so I, I find that inspiring and important. And I think that so much of, of what is beginning to reverse in even this idea of, of what's happened with a sort of woke ideology, I think you can trace back to Elon's purchase of X and his decision to make it a free speech platform when it was becoming very, very censored. You couldn't even say on Twitter, that, that you, uh, the definition of a man or a woman, or, you know, this is how, you know, Babylon B got banned was because they, they misgendered somebody who had transitioned and to, to and so like, that's where we were <laughs> a public platform, the, the most public platform, you weren't even allowed to honestly 
describe what, you know, 50 plus percent of us believe about the nature of gender without being banned permanently from the platform. That, that was such a threat to our ability to fight back from, from this ideology.